What's up guys, over at the other shop. So Alberto always comes up with some crazy contraptions and badass builds. Um, he was the creator of the Trizilla. He sent us a drawing, told us to build it, and we made it happen. We've got some old school Kajiva dirt bikes, I believe a 125 and a 250, created up that he just shipped to us from Florida. Um, I'm excited, we're gonna do an unboxing here and see what they look like. So it's over 100 degrees out right now. We are sweating balls already, but we're gonna do our best to make a good video. Alex, you're gonna be huffing on camera again? Yeah, I'm still a steady diet. I think I have a sinus infection at this point. It's fine. Everything's fine. You found COVID? No, let's not joke about that, but possibly. Get too close to me. Get I might breathe into the camera. Breathe. Sound like a dead zombie? Yeah, you'll have that. All right, what do we got in here? Look at that. Little elephant. Why is this thing cleaner than most of the bikes in Tucson? It really is clean. Kajiva action. Damn, this thing is sweet. Cool, let's open it up. All right, so this is definitely the 125. The 250 is all apart, I guess. Um, this one came fully assembled, and we've got a 250 over in the other crate. So where'd you say these were from? The U UK. UK, you found them in the UK? Yeah. Awesome. This is a sick bike. Very excited to get our hands on one of these. A little bit of a challenge, the chain is on the opposite side, so that's new for us for uh, building our, our custom swing arms, but we'll make it happen. Cool. Keep drained it, cool. Beautiful, all right. Someone definitely restarted this stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like powdered the whole screen. Like, no, it's mint. I don't know what it is. Honestly, guys, I don't know shit about these. Like, <laughs> I'm learning right now. I've never seen one in person. I've only seen pictures. We obviously knew about the Tricky Dick uh, Kojiba bikes or trikes that he built back in the day. So it's really cool for us to, I guess, have one here and uh, make, make a trike out of it. I'll jump right in and see one. You just don't, you don't see them every day, so, not around here. No. Cool way they built stuff. I like how they have the logo kind of built into that. See, they got it on the swing arm too. We're all about throwing our name on every piece we make. Right here too. Right here too. Yeah, on the kicker. That's awesome. That is so cool. Even on the pipe. Got the name on the pipe too. That's how we roll. We like to we like to brand all our parts. When you're proud of your parts, you put your name on them. All right, on to the next pallet slash crate. See what it looks like in the video. Gonna load this up, bring it back to our shop where we build everything. We got spare engine bits and bobs over here. Little bits and bobs. Bits and bobs over here. Bits and bobs. I guess that's how they talk in the UK. You're gonna have that. Little bits and bobs. Cool. Give me a push, Alex. Back. 
to our other shop we go. There we go. Yeah, so we run out of room. You gotta have multiple locations. You're gonna have that. <laughs> Let's go check out the bits and bobs. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. You zoom in right here. Spare bits and bobs. Look at all these boxes. We got a spare silencer, the pro circuit exhaust. Yep. Yeah, so like we were saying guys, if you zoom over that way, you can see the whole thing. Um, he bought this from the UK, shipped it to Florida, and now it's here, out in Tucson, Arizona. So we're not gonna video loading every box up into the other truck, but. That box came from Texas to the UK, back to the US. Oh, no shit, damn. <laughs> yeah, he's been collecting parts for a while while we were working I guess on the so. Tizella. You know what I was thinking? Hmm. Uh, put this on the trailer. Because it has, it has all, all like boxes and stuff. Look at it. Look at it, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. I'll drop my trailer like over there. Just take this one on this guy's trailer. Cool. Play into the trailers. I just don't want to like. So, there's so many boxes in here. So many boxes. We're actually gonna just throw this back on a trailer and bring it back to the other shop and unload it there because RJ doesn't want to ruin all the bits and bobs. So gotta, I've never heard that before. We gotta make sure the bits and bobs are safe. So it's gonna be our new saying for the next probably couple months. So on to the next video, guys. We're just gonna get this thing unpacked and uh, make another video coming up soon. What's he eating? This guy's eating beans. Yeah, he lives in the gift. <laughs> I was like, is it is section eight food? We don't pay Alex enough. He can't afford them. He has to eat fucking. I have ramen for breakfast. What do you mean? Can can wieners. It's only 106 calories per can. You'd have to eat like 20 of these fuckers to survive in a day. How do you even gain weight, Alex? Eating these little baby cans. You got man titties. I, I eat ramen for breakfast. Like he's almost ready for a brother. So what do you got to say to that guy that said you sounded like a dead zombie breathing in the camera? 100 degrees out, <laughs> fucking 50% humidity, and you got me running around a parking lot. Yep, that's it. <laughs> that's what I got to say. Uh, <laughs>